All right, guys, take a walk with me around my neighborhood, and we have to discuss this X-Men Apocalypse trailer that just dropped today. It was... <sighs> it got me more excited, let's just say. I salivated completely. I've watched it probably 10 times already, you know. Had to watch it on the tablet, of course. Couldn't just watch it on the phone. I'm waiting for this for a while. So I just want to talk about some of the highlights that I saw, uh, things that stand out immediately. Um, of course, the Magneto uh, being Quicksilver's dad being revealed officially in the trailer. And we had always hoped that that would be the case, even though I know some people are going to freak out because now in the continuity, they were created by some other entity, him and Scarlet Witch. So, all right, whatever with that. But I'm still excited to see development as far as that goes. We know Singer is more faithful to the continuity of the cartoons, though. So, well, if you follow X-Men, Wolverine, and the X-Men, then in that cartoon we got to see proper Quicksilver, Polaris, Scarlet Witch relationship between all of them. Hey, we know we're going to get a lot more for Raven. I'm not that sad about that. You know, Jennifer Lawrence is a good actress, and hopefully they give her more to do as Mystique as opposed to just taking up airtime when you're wanting to see what the hell else is going on with the other mutants. Hopefully you won't feel that too much in this movie. We got to see a little bit more focus on giving lines to Cyclops, so that kind of kiboshed everybody saying doesn't get any service. He got a line or two, we can't all control our powers, and then his line at the end, we had a little help. Uh, I think it was Kimberg who said, uh, we love Wolverine as being played by Hugh Jackman. So I think they won't want to recast him, I think those rumors recently of X-23 coming to the universe is true and we'll probably see her manifest in a Deadpool film. That's my likely guess. Soon to be the new fan favorite. Uh, Jean Grey. I'm already very excited about that because I know 110% that she is going to have to kick Apocalypse ass as the Phoenix. I've been waiting to see a big flame bird annihilate some folks for a long time. X-Men The Last Stand cheated me with that graphic art of the fire behind Femke Jensen, man, and I hate him for it. I hate them. I hate The Last Stand. Good action, I will say. Really, I wish Havoc wasn't going to be dead, but I get the feeling he's gone, guys. And But I do get the feeling now that Jubilee won't die. And I feel like I get the feeling also confirmed that Psylocke will die. I would much honestly rather have had either Psylocke or Havoc survive than Jubilee, to be really honest. She's never been my favorite. I know it might not be famous or popular for me to say that. You loved her vampire storyline, I know, and all that. That she's now crazy bitch. But anyway, uh, yeah, I saw Psylocke fall off the airplane, so she's dead. That's gonna probably be a Cheers moment. Someone probably kicks her ass or something. And then um, we saw Havoc shooting his blast, but we'd never seen another picture of him suited up at all anywhere. So I have a feeling Cyclops is really gonna get his stakes amped up by seeing his brother dead. Not only is he an orphan now in this continuity, but his brother's dead too. No love for Cyclops there, I guess I'll say. But he does get hot Sophie Turner, grabbing his head in the poster, helping him focus his beam. <laughs> so you can't be mad at that, you know? I really do wish they would reboot, uh, uh, or not reboot, but they would say that uh, Emma Frost and Banshee had faked their deaths. So once the mansion's all exploded and X-Men need to go fight Apocalypse, they can stay with them at their new place that they've been developing and, you know, show the new mutants. You'll have um, Jubilee there and some of the other characters they could cameo as younger that by the time we go into present, things should work out nicely. But who knows if we'll ever get that. Um, those are just some thoughts. Yeah, I feel like it would have been nice to see even the Scarlet Witch introduced into this one, too. A little tease to that would have been interesting. They're going to need a lot of people to fight Apocalypse. I'm sorry, this is not just uh, Jean Grey Phoenix is going to manifest and kick everybody's ass. I think they needed to have some real X-Men moments. I think they should have been uh, the Sentinels reintroduced to up the antes at the end. So now they have to fight a big fleet of Sentinels 
And <laughs> on top of that, fight apocalypse. I think that would be great because then hopefully if Storm's brought over to the good side by then, we could really get that animated series, um, original series uh, sequence that we've all been praying for where we get to see, at least I know I have been, to see Storm coming down from the sky, lightning bolting a sentinel, and then, you know, Jean probably going, oh, God. And then Wolverine probably slicing through something. Yeah, you got my red. And then, hey, well, if Channing Tatum was free, I mean, they did some reshoots. Unless he's completely done, then I say have Cable and Deadpool show up at the end through a freaking portal and start blasting some mother. And by the way, yes, I do hope I get my moment where I get to see the original five X Men. They haven't shown Iceman yet, but hey, a nice old frozen. Younger guy, like 15, it's showing that, you know, he's younger, more mature, playing up that kind of role, like their Spider-Man, slick, slick ass guy, and just have him like, wailing on some Sentinels, or some Mutant Hunters, or something, come on, Fox, give me a stinger with, um, since uh sinister maybe he's creating the brood i don't know i'll make a fucking my own continuity too if fox could do it i'll give them something more believable though right anyway